Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 9 something right now, and I'm filming this because I just picked something up at the, at the store. Ugh, I can't talk. I just took a shower, I'm nice and clean. This thing, I'm just going to tell you the price flat out. It was $130.99. It was very expensive. And what it is, you can't even see me. It is a Lego train set because you guys can't see it, but right over here behind the camera out of view is a uh, train set that I have, a train, which you guys have been following, hopefully. If you haven't, what are you doing? Get on track. Get in your life! Yeah! I'm joking. But anyways, yeah. I'll be using the, um... You guys can't even see it. I'll be using this, the motor here, to power it, and then the extra pieces I'll be using to make, uh, like, the wheels and stuff I'll use for other train cars. One thing I really want to do is uh, this part right here. The cab, I want to use that because, yes, I'm a hypocrite. I think that's what I am. <laughs> Anyways, I saw a thing of Flying Scotsman, because I watched the USA Tour video from Unlucky Tug. Go check him out, along with Train Boy. They're both awesome train reviewers. Go check him out. Shout out to those guys. But also, because I want to make an observation coach with this, if it's big enough. It might be a little too big, actually, if it's... So, yeah. I wanted to make this video to show you my unboxing. Is it held together with tape? Nope, you just peel it away with your fingers. Okay, good. So let's get into it. Eh. Ugh. Oh, wait, is it held together with tape? Oh, crap, it is! Is the other side? Yep, it is. Hold on, guys, I gotta go grab scissors. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just grabbed some scissors. I'm not saying it that weird way. I don't even remember how they say it. But, uh, in my opinion, that's a dumb word. So, let's set it like this. You guys can't even see it, but it's fine. Eh. So again, this isn't like a regular train set thing. This thing's gonna be used for actual, like, uh, spare parts. Like, it's scrap. I'm scrapping it. I can't get the scissor in the area where I need it to. There we go. Okay, here. I'll set it on the chair so you guys can see it. Okay, a few pieces. We got more train... Tr what is that? Oh, it's the base piece. There's that piece, too. More couplers as well. How big is that? Let me compare it to the train cars. It might be a little big, but I'll find out. So there's one bag. Yep. Another bag full of train car pieces, I think. And uh, some wheels. Dude, even more train tracks. How are these even held together? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, I was confused on how these were held together. There's little plastic rods in between them to help hold them together. And then, same thing with this. So right here we got more train parts. Ooh, the butter of the operation. Does this thing just open or do I need actual, like, screws? Yep, there's screws. Okay, I have a screwdriver. Little battery pack here, which is very light. Ooh, is that the... Yep, it's the control... Dude, this thing is so spindly. Oh, so these do spin. I thought these didn't spin. They do spin. And then you can click the buttons. Probably needs batteries. This is the most spindly controller I've ever seen. Okay, there's a controller. Let's see. Here is, yep, the whole battery pack. Well, the wheel piece. Which, uh, I actually have one of these. Which, as you guys can see. The battery packs are different, though. This one's a light, like, white color, and this one's, like, dark black gray. But, uh, yeah, there's also one more piece. It is, like, it's this little piece right here. This is the old one my brother had that does not work at all. If it did work, I wouldn't be making this video. We got more track. It said there's 16 of these. Why couldn't they have more straight track? I really would have preferred straight track. I like straight track. I don't even know what I'm looking at. There are so many good pieces in here, dude. Dude, these are totally going to be used to make, like, uh, uh, some extra train cars. What is this? instructions and stickers since i'm not making this into the like the actual train dude i'm so happy to realize and no i will not be using these stickers i'll probably keep them but i won't be using them more train tracks i would have much preferred more straight track but hey they didn't do it oh jeez, i dropped it so many good pieces dude dude none of these pieces are gonna go to waste except some of the food items I don't use Lego figures. As you, if you guys have seen my videos, 
I use little headmaster transformer figures for my set, so I won't be needing that. Wait, I just realized, yeah, there's like tons of seats in here. Dude, I can put seats in the coaches and then all the characters can sit in them. Oh, dude, that's totally what I'm gonna do. I didn't ever originally do it because I was like, I'm not ever gonna find enough seats. Now I do, yeah, there's like four or five of them in here, dude. And then there's, of course, a piece to separate them. No, obviously, I'm not gonna be using all of these pieces, I'll be storing them in here. The whole box is empty. So I'll set that on the ground right there. Yeah. Wow, you guys can't see it. Look at this. Dude, this is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here I have a little train. This is the Astro Train figure. Which, uh, let me show you his face real quick. I changed his face. You guys remember that paper face he had? I Oh, I did show you, but I never showed you what it looked like on the train. Uh, here it is. As you can see, it's uh, still a marker. Oh my god, bro. Dude. Bruh. So, all of these pieces are not going to be used right now. Wait, is this big enough for- Yep, that's like a roof size piece, so I'll definitely be using that. So the main stuff I want to focus right now on is the battery pack. So let me put all these away, and we'll just focus on the batteries. Okay, so I put most of them away. I was about- I was looking for this little piece over there. I was about to put this away, which I did. Um, I did, and I didn't. Uh, but I noticed, you guys probably can't see it, there's a little white box in there. Like, it's not like blocks, it's like a paper, like a cardboard box. So, uh, I'll see what that is. It's probably some connector bits. I don't know where that little piece is. I don't know if that's like an add-on piece or if they got rid of it. If it is just an add-on piece, then thank God. But, um, <coughs> let's, uh, open some of these up. We'll open up, uh, this thing first. Try not to cut the cord and anything. Here we go. Here is the little battery motor, as you can see, where the stuff goes in. I really wish they would just make this battery powered. I don't care if you had to use little circle batteries, I just wish they would have done it. <coughs> Does this thing just slide in here? Let me try attaching it. Oh, I thought you push it down. Nope, it just slides right in to get that out. So you can attach two of them. Okay, that's cool. Now, I want to open this up and see... What that little piece is in here. There's so many blocks. There's this right here. I want to see what this is. It has like numbers on it and stuff. Can't see very well. I'm just cutting one of the corners off. I just hope I'm not cutting the thing that's inside. What's in here? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Do I have to assemble the wheel? Are you kidding me? I have to assemble the wheels? Bruh. Okay. Well, actually, now I think about it, that shouldn't be too hard. So, uh, yeah, I got those little bits right there. Battery pack. Are there any more, like, wheel pe- Yep, there's some wheel stuff in here. Let me just- Yeah. throw that back in there's that some wheels dude oh my god how many wheels are in this let's just set all the little wheel pieces over here and then i'll organize them later dude there's even more and then i'll throw all these back in here give me a second okay so i just put all that away and then we got some of these let's try assembling one of them and then i'll assemble the rest off screen so how does it Oh, that's how it works. So it is going to be easy. You slip the wheel over top. Like that. And I think what you do is... Boom, let's see how it works. It works! So there we go. Uh, let me uh, build the rest. Okay, I just made all the wheels. I'm going to... Slightly angle the camera down a little bit so you guys can see this better. So there you go. Got some wheels here. Got the battery pack. So, yeah. Um, that was my quick little... Uh... Oh, jeez. Things like crooked. So that was my quick little uh, unboxing for you, everybody. 
I don't think I'm going to show you any more, because that was pretty much it I wanted to do. So, I'll build the rest of it off camera, and then, uh, yeah. Definitely going to be making some interesting stuff with this. Uh, I want to make an observation coach, but looking at how big this is, it might not work. Uh, there's a, there's two more, there's a few more straight tracks in here. <coughs> Most of these probably actually might not get used, because there's too many to use. If I put too many cars on my train layout, which, here it comes, woo! Uh, if I put too many cars on it, I'm afraid it might actually weigh it down. There's actually another car I want to make. There's two more. There's actually a few ideas I have. I want to make... Here, let me bring it over. I want to make two more of these, two more of these, and then another one of these. And then the other thing I want to build... Let me get this off camera. Oh, gee, it derailed. Ah, the coupling came undone. Yeah. And then the other thing I want to build is a box car, like a cargo car. Uh, I kind of want to build one of those. I have enough pieces for it. So, yeah, guys, that's it for now. So, yeah, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye! I'll be making some videos about me driving it.